Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. Be sure to click the button down below to subscribe to my channel, as well as click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you can join my Faye fam and never miss out on any future videos. And if you are not new to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my current beauty favorites. It has been a hot minute since I have done a monthly favorites video. I'm actually not even sure how long ago it's been since I've done a favorites video. Probably like the beginning of the year. It's been a hot minute. So instead of doing a monthly favorites, I figured I would jump on here and share with you guys just a bunch of different things that I have been loving. So today's video is just going to be a little bit more chill, laid back, and just me sharing a couple of the products with you guys that I have absolutely been loving. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. As usual, you guys know I love when you let me know your favorites down below in the comments, so be sure to leave those down below. And I will try my best to list and link everything that I talk about in this video in the description box down below for you guys as well. So yeah, I think that's all that I have for this intro. So let's go ahead and get into the favorites. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I do have one random favorite, so I think I'm going to start off with that. And this is something that I have been absolutely loving and have been obsessed with ever since I found out that I could get my hands on it at the grocery store. And it is this Starbucks Ice... Starbucks? Starbucks Iced Coffee. Now, I actually got put onto this um, by Casey Holmes. I'm not sure if you guys watch her here on YouTube. But I saw on her either snap or vlog, I don't remember which one, but I saw her talking about how she purchased these at the grocery store. So of course I went and did a little bit of research and I was able to find these at my local grocery store. I get mine from Publix, depending on where you live, I'm not sure if you have a Publix where you live, but I have also seen them at Kroger as well as Walmart and Target may even sell them as well. They're super inexpensive, you get um, one and a half quart or 48 fluid ounces for $4.99 at Publix anyways and every two weeks or so they do a sale where you can buy two for eight dollars so pretty much every time I go into the store I pick up two of these I'm constantly stocked on them and I have my little Starbucks cup with my straw and I just create my little iced um, coffee situation and I just use this and vanilla creamer the coffee mate vanilla creamer and i normally throw some ice in there and like one splenda and it is so good so i wanted to mention it it does come in a lot of different flavors but i like to always pick up the medium roast and then i can flavor it the way that i want with creamer and sugar and whatnot so yes so next up you guys know that fall is literally pretty much here right around the corner so i had to throw in a new fall favorite and it is this candle from bath and body works you pretty much can't do fall without a bath and body works candle it's like they just go together you just can't you just can't do one without the other <laughs> so i actually have really been loving this particular scent um you most of you guys probably already know i mentioned like in previous other videos how much i love marshmallow fireside i do have that candle as well but i recently picked up this one this one is in the scent autumn and i have been obsessed with it um it says on the bottom that it is bright red gala apple juicy fig eucalyptus leaf and fir balsam so if that means anything to any of you guys, hopefully it helps describe the scent. I'm really bad at describing scents. Most of you guys already know that. But you can definitely smell the apple and like the eucalyptus, which I think is why I really love it. So if you're into Bath & Body Works candles, I recommend swinging by and smelling this one. It smells really good. And Marshmallow Fireside, like I said, is also another really good one. So moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my beauty favorites. And the first product that I want to share with you guys is actually a deodorant. I recently learned about a deodorant that not only helps to control perspiration, but it's also natural. So I recently learned about this deodorant. This is the Native deodorant. It's called, yeah, just Native deodorant. And these were actually sent to me, but of course I am going to be telling you guys my honest opinion on them. I've been trying them out now for about two or three weeks. I wanted to really try them out before I got on here and shared them with you, but I did want to share them with you because I really like them. So these deodorants come in six different scents. And these, um, I have three right here that I really like. So the one that I'm currently using 
is I think this one. Yeah, okay, so the one that I'm currently using is the Coconut and Shea scent. It smells really fresh and pretty much like a shea butter type scent. But two other ones that I would recommend are the Apricot and White Peach if you like more of a kind of fruity-ish, not super overly um, like overbearing, but kind of a more floral, fruity-ish type scent, then um, the Apricot and White Peach would be a good one. Or if you like just very natural, um, lightly scented, since <laughs> then the coconut and vanilla would be a good one for you so apricot and white peach coconut and vanilla and then the one that i'm currently using is coconut and shea so these deodorants are paraben free aluminum free they're also made here in the usa and they offer free shipping and free returns on purchases so i will leave a link for you guys down below in the comments if you're interested in checking them out you can also use my coupon code, which is Lene, to save you 10% off. It's not a commissioned code, but you guys know I'm always looking out for you and helping you save those coins. So I will have my coupon code link for you guys down below if you're interested in trying these out. But I definitely recommend them. I have really been enjoying them, and it's definitely a plus that they are natural and don't have all of those harmful ingredients and chemicals that a lot of other antiperspirants have. Okay, so I have one more body product that I wanna share with you guys before I move on to skincare, and it is the Sol Gennaro, I think is how you say it? Gennario, Gennaro, I don't know. It's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have been hearing about this or have heard about it in the past. I actually was lucky enough to get my hands on this on the Octali website. If you've been following my channel, this will not be the first time that you guys have heard about Octali. It is basically a site that you can go on and apply to receive products to review and, um, you know, check them out, see if you like them and all of that good stuff. So I have received tons of products from that site and one of the items that I was able to get my hands on is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. So I was really excited to get this because it's full size. You can find this at Sephora and I think it's, I mean, most things in Sephora are pretty pricey. I'm not exactly sure of the cost of this, but it's not cheap. <laughs> but I have definitely, I don't know if you guys can see, well, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I don't know if you guys can see, I have definitely put a dent in it, but it smells really, really, really good. It has kind of like a fresh kind of scent that is not super overbearing. I'm really not about super, like really overbearing scents, so I really do like this one. You do get quite a bit of product even though it is a little bit expensive, but it's convenient because you can pick it up at Sephora. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to skincare. I have three products that I want to share with you guys. The first one are these makeup wipes. These makeup wipes are from Simple, and these are the Sensitive Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. And I have really, really, really been loving these. It's hard for me to find like a really good makeup wipe i feel like like one that is moist but also does a really good job of cleansing off your makeup on your skin and it doesn't like pull a lot on your skin and i have really been loving these i actually buy these from you can get them at target or walmart and i get them in the two pack it says buy two and save i don't know how much money you actually save but I like to just buy them in the two packs so that I don't have to buy them as frequently. Another skincare product that I have been loving is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum Concentrate. I mentioned to you guys in a previous video that I used to love this and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And I looked on Amazon and I was able to find it so I went ahead and bought two of them when I found it on Amazon. This is a product that I have loved ever since the first time I tried it which was forever ago most of you guys may remember when this product was super popular like tons of different youtubers were raving about this product so i don't really understand why it's no longer available in the store but you can buy it on amazon and like i said it's a serum so you use it after your toner and before your moisturizer and this is a product that i have i feel like really helps my skin with the texture with my pores with any dark spots or hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin. This is one of the few products that I have found that actually, like if I use it consistently, I can actually see a difference in my skin. So 
I will try to find um, where I actually purchased this on Amazon so you guys know it's a trusted link. I will try to link it for you guys down below. But if you're looking for a good serum that, you know, will help you with texture and all of that kind of stuff on your face, I recommend this one. So sticking with face products, I want to share two foundations with you guys that are not new, but I recently mixed the two of them together and it was a match made in heaven. So these two foundations are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I have the L'Oreal Foundation in the shade Classic Tan and Estee Lauder in the shade 5W1 Bronze. The two of these on their own I absolutely love. But one day I was doing my makeup and I don't know why but I just thought, I think I like was trying to decide between the two of these which one I was gonna wear. And then I was like, well, let me just mix them together and see. Dead. If you have the two of these foundations, I highly recommend that you try mixing them together if you have oily skin. This lasted on my face probably better than any foundation that I have ever put on my face up until this point. The two of these last pretty well on their own, but when I mix them together... And then another face product that I have been loving is from Cover FX, and this is the matte setting powder and I have mine in the shade medium so this the matte setting powder comes in three different shades I think I think it comes in light medium and dark and I got mine in the shade medium because initially I was planning on using it to bake under my eyes but I noticed that when I apply it to bake under my eyes it doesn't really highlight um, so I prefer to use like my Sasha Buttercup or Laura Mercier powder for that so what I've been using this for is to set my primer underneath my foundation before I apply foundation if I'm really trying to like really control my oils throughout the day and have like a really long wear look happening, okay, flawless, not going anywhere on my face. I will use this underneath my foundation to set my primer. And then I also like to just sweep it all over my entire face after I apply my foundation to make sure everything is locked and loaded. So this is one that I would recommend for you if you have oily skin. And then last but not least, I have a highlighter to share with you guys. And it's actually the highlighter that I have on my face right now. And it is the Bobbi Brown um, Highlighting Powder in the shade Bronze Glow. So this is what it looks like. I've actually had this highlighter for a while. I got this highlighter um, I think back in January or February when Andrea, my friend Andrea and I did a swap here on our channels. I will try to link that video for you guys down below if you're interested in checking it out. But in that swap, she picked this up for me and this is something that I have been wanting for the longest time. I remember when it first came out, it sold out and I had the hardest time getting my hands on it. Plus, it's kind of pricey. So, I just, I don't know. Like, I really wanted it but I could never, like fully commit and bring myself to purchasing it and then when we did that makeup swap she picked it up for me and I have just been using it like crazy lately but this is what it looks like it is beautiful and I'll show you guys a swatch so this is what it looks like on my finger and then that is what it looks like swatched it is stunning. It's basically kind of like a champagne gold, but more gold, if that makes sense. It's beautiful if you have, like if you're a woman of color or if you're like a medium to dark and even deeper skin tone because my friend Andrea is a little bit of a more deeper skin tone than me. She has the same shade and she loves it. It complements so many skin tones so beautifully. So shout out to my girl Andrea for picking this one up for me because I probably still wouldn't have it if you hadn't gotten it and I have been loving it. Alright guys, so that is going to bring us to the end of this video and just watching how long I have been recording. It looks like this one is going to be a long one. Hopefully I can edit it down for you guys and make it a little bit shorter. But I did want to just jump on here and share a couple of the products that I have been loving. I know how much you guys loved watching or love watching my favorites videos here on my channel. And I just haven't gotten around to filming one lately. So I just wanted to jump on here and update you guys with a couple of the products that I have been loving from across the board, lifestyle, beauty, and makeup products. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to let me know down below any products that you have been loving lately or any products that I have mentioned that you're going to try out. As I mentioned, I will be sure to link all of the products or try my best anyway to link all of the products that I mentioned in this video for you guys down below, as well as any coupon codes that I have that could help save you guys a couple of extra coins. So I think that's pretty much all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye. I'm a